here is chain 36 so into chain 35 we are going through and taking the thread through the next one the same way and then close up two times like this then through here out of the side stitch we are going through and taking one more stitch from the side then three loops on the needle and the fourth out of the next chain and then close up again out of the side two stitches third from the side and fourth out of the following chain four loops on the needle and close up now I have three of these side stitches so we have four loops from here adding the fifth additional one and then the sixth out of the chain close up four of these so five loops sixth from the side and seventh from the chain and these seven loops I have on my needle I'm gonna need for every square of my piece so let me close these up So one, two, three, four, and five rows. So this triangle or half of the square are done is done. Um, so you can take one chain and close the stitches off with slip stitches. Sixth slip stitch goes into the following chain and our first triangle is done. So let's do a square. We have one loop on the needle already and we need seven stitches. seven and then close them up and the squares are easy take from the stitches one two three four five six and out of the following chain the seventh and close up two, four, five, and six, and then the seventh out of a chain. We have three rows and we need a total of five. Six, seventh out of the next chain and one more time close off and one two three four five and my square is done so let's do another chain and then the slip stitches.
five slip stitches and the last one around the following chain. So one square and one triangle are done. The following square we are doing the same way. Take seven stitches or loops onto your needle. And close them up. This counts as our first row. And the last stitch always out of the following chain. And again. We have three rows. Four rows. Six stitch from the side and that's our last row. Now come the slip stitches. Six to the side. So this is our first loop for the following half of the square or the triangle. So I'm on the other side already. So let's do seven stitches now. Number seven and close them up. Now in every row we will need one less stitch. So first one on the needle, let's do six now. The last one we just let be cast off. The next one will have five. Four and cast off. Three and cast off. One, two, three, four, five rows. And we are now doing a chain and a slip stitch and we can cut the thread off and pull out. Now we are using color number two. So here on this side, we are starting and working into the holes here, if I can call them that. So let's start like this and we need one more chain. First loop is already here and do six more chains. Seventh goes, goes into the side and then we again close them up. Again seven stitches. Six 
seventh on the side and close up. One, three, five and six and seventh from the side. New row incoming, seven new stitches. Last row. Five rows. Now we need a chain and the slip stitch to get to the other side. So you see that you just do what you already did. Loop on here and let's do six more. So seven total. Again, seventh from the side, so just like before, and cast off. So we are doing the same thing just like with the first square, five rows, seven chains each. seventh from the side so let's finish all of the red pieces here we are now now we are starting with a triangle on the side and then we do two squares so basically um, half of a square two full squares and here again one half or one triangle go through here and take the thread through one more chain And then we are going into the same spot one more time. So second loop on the needle and here on the side third one. Close them up and then from the side take the second loop, third as well. So just like here on the bottom yellow triangle. fourth here and close up that's our second row and then take out the two side stitches and we have three loops on our needle then the stitch number four we do from the side stitch and fourth from the next chain and then close up And next row. One, two, three, four rows, so one more. Sixth on the side and seventh from the chain. And now that our triangle or half square is done, 
Let's get to the other side with regular slip stitches. Here go into the first stitch and we already have one loop on the needle so we need seven just like always and close up when you get the seven. Remember that the seventh one is always from the following square. Again, 7th from the other side. And again, and close up. Four, five, and six, and seventh, last one. And last row. Now, when you close up, comes the chain and the slip stitches. Five slip stitches and the sixth from the following square and then we can start our next square the same way with seven stitches. First row is done. Second row done. Third row close up. Three, four, five, six. Last row. So at the end, a chain and the slip stitches. Five and six from the following square. Now we are at the side triangle, so we are again starting with seven stitches. Here out of the point and close up. Now we need six stitches, so the last one we just leave out and close up the six. Now five stitches.
There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and one chain, one slip stitch, and this is done. So this is how we keep going. The following row you would do just like the red row and after that comes the white or yellow and you simply keep going for as long as you want and um, you can do the beginning and end where you do just triangles which I will show you in our next video in part 2.